Welcome back, everybody, helping us uh, stay on top of things inside our homes and be very decorative and everything that goes along with that. Scott Dean is joining us here this morning from HGTV Home Design Studio by Bassett. Thank you. Welcome, or thank you for coming in this morning. It's nice to see you back. Yeah, I, I don't think we can miss you. Traveling. No. <laughs> I wanted to come back with a splash, right? <laughs> we just said wow. it's we're all about color today. Well, and we are you, talking about yes, color today. You showed yeah. up. And I would have I would have done this segment earlier in the year, but since I'm here now, we're going to talk about the uh, forecasting colors for 2020. This is a big, big deal for interior designers and other people in the design industry when they actually announce what the color of the year is and how people uh, take that on, either put it in their products, leave it out of their products, where they put it in their color mix or whether they leave it out. Okay, so. and who determines? this color of the year? Well, it's done by, it's done by a couple of different um, um, uh, agencies, but the one that's the go-to, the, the industry standard, is Pantone. And oh, sure. And Pantone is uh, related, or is the most important one, because they have about 1,850 colors. They're basic colors with four inks, right? So you see your ink in your in your printer mm -hmm. and it's yeah. four different inks, right, yeah. right? So that is always pure. In other words, it, you, the mix is always the same, you know, it's the easy one to go to. And Pantone is used not only by interior designers, uh, fashion industry, product designers, it's, it's used across the board where some of the paint um, vendors, you know, that's like a particular uh, air region of the country, or maybe a designer likes one paint but not the other, and the mixes aren't always pure and the oh, same. Got it. So it's always so about it's a Pantone. standard, then, right? It is a exactly. standard. So let's look at let's 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 look at the Pantone color of the year. The going back to uh, 2016, uh, up there in the upper left, they couldn't decide the color, so it was a mix of rose <laughs> quartz and serenity, and those are names of Pantone colors. Remember, what's in a name? You got to be careful about naming colors because if somebody doesn't like the name rose quartz they may not they may not that be so resonate with right, them, right right so right. a lot of other companies use numbers or numbers and names and sometimes we call it out by number and not name if we think that it's going to have a name that's a little more controversial so and then uh in 2017 greenery greenery right? greenery not green but greenery and in 2018 ultraviolet and these are the pantone ones and I particularly like the one from 2019, which was Living Quarrel. Okay. And in 2020, this image right here was predicted to be the color of the year, bleached coral. Bleached coral. Bleached coral. It came out in late 2019. It was predicted to be bleached coral. But when they actually announced, it was classic blue. So, so oh, really? So yeah. So the prediction, the color. prediction was yeah. It's a lot deeper and a lot more fluid with probably the trend of grays and other things that were already happening in the industry. Talk so. about how these trends impact <coughs> those industries. Are they are they building new products and and all around these new colors each year? Or just talk about you know the importance of kind of following these right. Trends. So for my industry, for interior design industry and the and the furniture industry, what we see is that there is they grasp onto colors that blend and mix with previous years so that you're not going to have a color that is doesn't go with let's say grays because gray is a popular color and then they're starting to introduce maybe rose color this year they're introducing blues that that um, classic blue is more of a bold almost a tealy blue but bold it's not as navy and that really works great with grays right so i think that sometimes the industry grabs onto colors that work well with what they already have established because you can't so redesign you your entire, over every year right. because it. so you wouldn't have like a fluorescent orange correct okay. yeah that okay. probably not or, works or, or so this well. one on your shirt no yeah, okay, but okay. these probably were not okay. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know elementary school or uh, those colors are always good and <laughs> but, but if you go back to the Pantone colors, they are four they colors. They are, exactly. You know? I was magenta just say, is that's magenta. exactly yeah. what, and that's all you need, and right. you can create all kinds of fabulous combinations exactly, of colors exactly. from those four. So, so what's really great about colors and uh, is that, you know, different colors pr uh, produce different moods. Um, red is self-confidence, safety, uh, increases energy and appetites, where you put in a blue, it's peace, calming, relaxation, you know, improved uh, creativity and then you have your yellows which is sunshine and happy and so if you put those colors in your home you have to be careful about where you where put them. them if you put red in your bedroom you may not be able to sleep yeah. if you put uh, yellow is a great um, used to be a really great color for kitchens we you see a lot of yellow kitchens it's a wake up sunshine color so where you're putting the colors in your home is very important do, you th do people still kind of 
Are they following that? And because you don't see gray everywhere. Well, well, no, you know, they I are. Don't know. Everything's gray, not, white, see, gray so and white. Gray you see maybe a little bit of a comeback with that a little bit. Uh, I think we're seeing some, of, some of it. If if somebody wants to paint color in their home, which again we're seeing so much gray and white and and uh, tones of gray. Uh, if they want to paint color, then we go back to color theory and say, okay, you got to be very careful about where mm -hmm. we're placing it and we're placing it minimal. Of course, it doesn't have to be in paint. It could be in accessories. It could be in upholstery. There are a lot of different ways to add color to your home. Right. Is, gr you is gray a safe color uh, for, for people to incorporate into their de decor? Well, it's boring, it's but boring, I guess yeah. it's safe. Like yeah. beige. Yeah. It's, everything it's, was beige for a while. Yeah. Now for a long time. Gray. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> it's gray. And even, even, with the, even with the grays, it's still the white um, countertops, uh, you know, sub way tile and in, in very white it's it's we're still seeing it what do you see from you, you mentioned uh, bedrooms don't paint them red but what right. do you see is is the most popular bedroom color then a calming color which may be a may be a gray but tints itself more towards the blues yes. a lighter blue or okay. a blue um, that's usually what we recommend that's okay. usually what, what we're seeing people people do okay, yeah. okay. And I know so, you've brought some images of some examples so of kind of how those colors are coming into play with our decor. right so what we have here is the different uh, vendors actually that show what um, what their predictions were or what they're pushing and this is a uh, Benjamin Moore now Benjamin Moore went a little bit um, out on a limb that color right there in the upper left hand corner is um, uh, soft pink. It's a soft pink. It's called First Light. Now again, in the name, what's First Light? But it's actually a soft pink. And you see that they brought it in with some of the blues. There's that, that blue color up in the okay. upper right and down below you see they've used both of it in that, in that home there. So Benjamin Moore kind of pushed their own um, uh, pinky color, I think. So yeah, a little bit different than what uh, Pantone said, said in, their, in their prediction. Now a couple I other like vendors. I like this next one. <laughs> we, I love this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. This of course Bear love Bear this. went Bear went uh, straight to a color they call back to nature and it's definitely um, a green color, green tranquility uh, color um, brings Everything in goes with color. nature. Everything goes with the green and you can see that they have a little bit of blue thrown in thrown in there but you're not seeing very much gray in there. I mean they're using I think this green it's more of a grayish green or I think they're using it as their base color so I think they're taking a lot more of the gray out of it. Now I don't know if this is gonna if this is gonna stick and come all the way through some of those other green colors in the bottom uh, examples are very yellowy green so that might be a little tougher. It's like to, 70s to kind of that 70s right, green. Right right but the upper it. one wasn't as much. And then of course Sherwin Williams which is also a base a base um, for the local market, because we use a lot of Sherman Williams, Benjamin Moore, you know, kind of those standard mm -hmm. uh, name brands that, that you recognize. And they, they came out with um, navy, or naval, this is their naval. And it really did stick in line with the Pantone. I mean, the colors are so similar. Mm -hmm. And here you see it used in a bedroom and partially in kitchen cabinets, which okay. is really going out on a limb to do painted cabinets. But oh, wow, okay. Pretty interesting there. So. Where's the best place to put that navy blue? Bedroom? Would you I would say? put it. I would put in the bedroom. I like to see a lot. I would like to see a lot more people use blue in their bedrooms. I don't think that that we've we've seen that um, in the past. I think mm -hmm. we've seen a lot of uh, more of the of uh, the yellows, the beiges, and of course then we went into the grays. Mm -hmm. But it'd be nice to start to see a trend to use more blues in the bedroom. Okay. We need to calm people mm -hmm. down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, if you want to get a little more adventurous with color in your home, Scott Dean is uh, who you need to visit with. Uh, visit him online at HGTV. DSM.com or over there on Urbandale uh, Avenue or Douglas Avenue Douglas over Avenue. there in Urbandale. Uh, visit his studio. Always great information. Good examples of things. We're glad to have you back, sir. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. You gonna stick with us? Sure. We're gonna kind of sure. get creative with More our colors, colors over now. there. More colors. Yes, yes. Just so you know, I do have a blue bedroom in my home. <laughs> oh, just so you well, know. See that? I'm ahead of the trend. He's Ooh. been on trend for a very long <laughs> time. <laughs> wait long enough, we'll it'll come right back, back around. Okay. Right. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>